In this video, you will learn how to measure lines and arcs and assign codes using your icon field solution. This is one of the most basic uses of an icon field rover, so you must become confident in doing this. There are many useful purposes for measuring and locking lines, for example, providing as built documentation for utility and curbs. We could just measure points and connect them manually later. But measuring lines and arcs directly is much more effective for the entire construction process, so we recommend you to do this whenever you can. In this video, we will measure two elements. A cable between light poles and curb island where we will combine straight lines and arcs. First, let us agree on the difference between measure and stake out. We measure what is built or exists. We stake out what is yet to come or to be built. We start in the home menu of Icon Field. Confirm we are in the correct project, like a road. And that the job is day one. We select Measure. Before we begin to measure, there are three things we need to control. Good coordinate quality, which is accurate as long as the indicators are green and no warning bars appear above the info panel. Measure mode and point code. To learn more about these three things, please refer to the video How to Measure Points in Leica Icon Field. Next is to configure the measure bar. Long press on one of the buttons. For this activity, we must have Measure and Start Line enabled on buttons. Here we enable Measure, Start Line and Code in the Measure bar. Press OK. Let's move on with setting the code. Press Code. We begin with cables between the light pole foundations. So, we select Light Cable. Note that we don't need to display any model when measuring. It is just providing orientation on the job site and possibly offer a reality check of our measurements. Place the tip of the pole directly on the first part of the cable to measure. For each measurement, keep the pole vertical and steady. Press Start Line. Press Measure. We can also use the hot button A to measure a point. Note, when using Icon GPS 70 tilt, it is not necessary to keep the pole vertical. Move to the next spot. A dashed line visualizes the creation of the line on the map. Place the tip of the pole directly on the spot to measure. Press Measure. Move to the next spot. Place the tip of the pole on the spot. Press Measure. To finish the line, press Stop Line. Note, Icon Field creates straight line segments between each locked point, so we must lock a point every time the element changes direction or elevation. Now it is time to measure the curb island. Don't forget to change the code. Press on the code button. In this example, we will select curb. The curb island comprises two arcs connected by two straight lines. To get started, press the toolbox. Select measure arc. Place the tip of the pole directly on the edge of the curb where the arc starts. A dashed line visualizes the creation of the arc on the map. Press Measure. Place the tip of the pole directly on the edge of the curb close to the arc midpoint. Press Measure. Place the tip of the pole directly on the edge of the curb where the arc ends. Press Measure. To measure the straight curb between the arcs, press Start Line. Tap on the endpoint of the last measured arc. And then place the tip of the pole directly on the edge of the curb where the next arc starts. Press Measure. Before measuring the second arc, we stop measuring the line. 
press stop line. Now press on the toolbox. Select measure arc. Tap on the end point of the last measured line. Place the tip of the pole directly on the edge of the curve close to the arc midpoint. Press measure. Place the tip of the pole directly on the edge of the curve where the arc ends. Press measure. To close the island, we need to connect the two arcs with a line. Press start line and tap on the last point of one arc and on the first point of the other arc. That connected these two points. Press stop line. We have now measured straight line segments for light cables and lines with arcs for the curb island. Because we attached codes to these locked points and used different symbols, it is now quick and easy to filter the locked points on site or in the office. I can field offers a lot of more advanced features such as attaching photos or other information to each locked point. If you need help to use these advanced features, you can call your local Leica support. That's it. You have learned how to measure lines and arcs and assign codes using your icon field solution. As the logical next step, you may want to watch a video about staking out points.